G'day, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to see the inside of um, this inspection camera. So it's just got a um, actual handheld um, device and then this camera um, that's mounted at the end of this and, and then just the wire, so I think it's about a meter long um, to reach. It turns on, it's got a nice screen um, and it again just sort of yeah shows obviously whatever's at the end of this so this can just be used to a whole bunch of different um, purposes to see how to reach places um, anything like that all right so i'll take this away a little bit um, it's just powered by uh, four by double a batteries nice little in the space here um, the whole thing's just a nice plastic um, sort of nothing special just a plastic case i don't think it has any environmental ratings um, there's quite a few holes here, so uh, you get water on it. I don't think it'll really fare too well. Um, there's a slot there for an SD card. Um, and then it's just got a micro USB for, I assume, potentially a charger or maybe even just a download things off of it onto a computer. Um, all right, put some under this grease. Uh, so it seems to have loosened just up this back compartment, which really just a, is a battery um, battery holder. So again, it's got the batteries on that side and then just two connectors going in. So two cables going into a connector um, and that connects onto the PCB there. That's nice, actually, I actually appreciate that nice. You can just um, take it out really easily. So it's a nice, it's quite a sturdy case. Um, it, is, it is plastic, it is injection molded plastic, quite nice tooling actually, um, not many wear marks on it um, but it does have a bit of a mat and a bit of a feel so I think it does have some sort of reinforcement in the plastic um, maybe a bit of glass fiber um, which is good it's nice and nice and steady all right let's um, keep going with this All right, so again, just another plastic um, plastic bit that holds the frame together. Um, and then we've got the actual camera module. So at the end of this, it's just a small camera um, and a few LEDs around that just to light um, light up the area. Because a lot of tiny small places that you know you can't reach easily you generally don't have a lot of light. So um, this is a nice light. The end of it is just again another injection molded bit of plastic. Um, that secures onto this and it's got nice four screws around it to hold it. So this is held really sturdily in the camera. Um, and then it's just got a continuation of that wire coming out from the camera. So this will just be the input um, from the camera into the motherboard and then also um, power for those LEDs. Just got a nice little um, magnet around that um, just to sort of act as a bit of filtering um, for it because this long cable here can, can sort of act as a bit of an antenna as well. Um, so that magnet there just going around it. Um, absorb some of that and just filters filters out the signal all right and then digging in a bit further we've got the actual PCB here um, it's actually held on by a few more screws and there's a few more screws there for the screen I think and then the buttons so um, let's keep digging and see what's what's um, what's underneath there All right, there we go. So this is the front. It's again just a um, a hard plastic. This is there's a two tone plastic. Oh, this is actually a rubber, um, a rubber over mold. Um, I think it might just be there either for looks or a little bit more grip. But that's just the front cover. Um, then we've got this sort of a rubbery um, buttons. They don't really have anything on the other side. It's just um, just a sort of that nice feel um, that slots right in here. It's got those spaces there. This would sort of act as a bit of a water resistant and maybe some dust resistance, um, make it a little bit harder to get in. But I, again, I don't think this has any specific um, IP rating. All right, so getting into the actual brains of it. So we've got a screen, um, a nice proper proper screen, I think. I don't know, it's, a, it's a few inches um, in diagonal. And then we've got the actual PCB, so the, the brain box um, of everything. 
Yeah, it's quite hard to see, but underneath, so this is some sort of shielding. Um, there'll be um, a microcontroller um, below this, just an integrated circuit on a chip um, that would actually be doing most of the um, most of the actual thinking and, and displaying the video and so on. Um, but it's got this nice metal cover that's that's soldered probably onto the ground plane of the PCB, um, so that would act as a shield. Um, protecting everything there, it's probably quite sensitive. And then again, we've got the camera input and then power, um, power input. Just a whole bunch of small little, a um, couple little inductors, um, voltage regulator, capacitors, resistors, um, all sort of electrical um, stuff on here. Probably just, just again, you know, ensuring there's a, there's a steady supply um, or constant supply. And filtered supply of power from the batteries. Um, and yeah, just sending power wherever it needs to go. Um, and then on the other side here we've got an SD card slot, so it's a micro SD card. Um, again, just a nice little metal case soldered on. The USB 1, um, so micro USB connector. And then we've just got these tactile buttons, uh, switches, um, which are really nice and connect right onto, um, well, um, sit right onto this plastic, so it can be pressed quite nicely. Not exactly sure what's underneath here, but it seems to be some sort of a um, a, a, f a film, a con I assume it's a conductive film, and then again it's soldered here on the edges, so most likely there'll be a couple of chips underneath here, maybe even a little uh, memory module, this does have some onboard memory, um, not just the SD card, so that there could potentially be um, a little memory module, um, and again that that it's just probably a cheaper way of, of protecting it um, than using a shield like on this side, that, that, that little film there will still be a shield. And then likewise, we've got this connector here um, and a ribbon cable going between the screen and the um, board, and that's all nicely insulated as well in, in some sort of shielding, um, so covered covered film. That's actually really nice to see. Um, I don't know the specific reasons of why sort of this shielding is here, um, but obviously it's really nice. It can't it can't hurt. So quite nice, quite nice build um, build quality of this. Pretty happy with it. Um, Sturdy PCB, everything and sort of in the one space. This ribbon cable is also firmly held in place, so don't really see any issues with that. The the, the easiest wear and tear on this is probably just going to actually be the camera module and sort of um, bending and turning all of this all the time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. Now you've seen what's um, what's inside a um, an inspection camera. Um, if you've got a second, just click that like button. Um, and if you want to see more, then please consider subscribing. Thanks so much. Have a great one.